I've got a set up here where I'm trying to work out uh, whether the software is accurately measuring the RPM and it's a little bit odd because I've got it so that it's actually outputting the pattern we've got an asynchronous uh, read of an array that's being dumped by the ISR and what we've got here is spinning obviously and what we've got here is we're measuring the period on okay so what we're doing is we're metering off of the uh, of one of the sensors, it's actually the sensor that we're calculating on there as well. And we're reading off the pulse from that sensor as it's passing it. And as you can see, it's uh, there's obviously a bit of noise involved in there, but that's fine. All right, and it's saying it's well, my mark is at 5.7 milliseconds. Okay, and if you work that out, basically it's 5.7 divided by a thousand, then invert it, and you get the frequency. Okay, which is in this case is the electrical revs per second, and it's 175 point something. Okay, and what we're getting from the actual cycle count is 182. Now it might measure one or more uh, because, as you can see, the pattern as it's doing it isn't perfect. You can sometimes see that it's uh, it's doubling up on certain steps, and sometimes it isn't. It's just because it's doing it from an interrupt. So it's a rough RPM, uh, revs a second as if it were, electrical revs a second. Now this is using 7 to 1 electrical to physical, so you've got to divide that by 7. Okay, Okay. so 184 divided by 7 is the actual physical RPM of that disc. Okay, physical revs a second, sorry. So we can do that actually, so that's 184, isn't it? It's pretty statically 184, so if we do... 184 divided by 7 is okay, so that's 26. This is revs per second. So if we now multiply that by 60 to get RPM, we get 1500 RPM. And that disc apparently is now turning at 1500 RPM. Okay, you know, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd say that probably sounds about right. So we've got 1500 RPM. Now, the reason why this is important is because we need to know. Uh, how fast the software can run and at the moment this is like under 200 electrical cycles a second and this disc is, is going to be spinning off magnets if I turn it up any higher so what I need to do now is I need to fashion it where those, those magnets are now glued in place so we can take this up to a much higher RPM because we need to prove that the software can, can handle it when it's spinning at 1000 RPM uh, 1000 revs I'm going to go and check this. I've got to, I've got to figure out, 